Okay, so when you are done your word cloud, you're going to take two fingers and click your trackpad. Make sure it's like a peace sign, but your fingers are touching, right? Your pointer finger, your middle finger, both touch the trackpad and you get what's called a right click. You're gonna hit save image as. It's gonna tell you the download is complete. Okay. Then you're gonna go over to your word cloud template that you got in Google Classroom. Go to insert, image, you're gonna choose upload from the computer. And what it did was it saved your word cloud in the download folder. You see I've done it a couple of times to practice. I'm gonna hit choose download, hit open. It's gonna insert my image. I can center it by clicking and dragging on my slide. And you'll notice it inserted it with the menu, all the, all the menus for your word cloud. So you're going to double click and it gives you a black box around your word cloud. This is your crop box. So if I go up to the top black line and simply click and pull down, you'll notice those extra menus at the top are now see-through. That means it's going to crop those out. When you have it cropped the way you like it, return, it gets rid of those extra images. Now my word cloud is centered, and you notice my background is white. The word cloud doesn't quite fit the way I like it. I can drag my word cloud to the top right left corner, grab the bottom right corner, click and drag, make it as big as possible, and then center it on my page by pulling from the middle to make it look nice. But I still have a white border. If you don't like that, go to Slide, Change Background, we're just going to choose color and you can choose a color that best matches your actual slide. If I go down to custom, I don't see anything that totally matches. This might be good. Not quite right. So if I go to custom, I can make it a little darker. And that, that matches pretty close, right? Well, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Once I have it matched to the best of my ability, up to the top right corner and hit turn in.